explain today what's overgrazing and um, how can we fix it. So, I mean, I started now with these three cows and I'm pretty new to this. Um, just enthusiastically raising these cows and see how far I can take it. Hey. So, um, so the problem with overgrazing, so what's overgrazing? So as you can see, there's parts of the field that have been shown or cut more than others. And so there's some this this spots on the field. Um, like you can see, like if I zoom in right there, that part, it's hard to see in this video, but like on that green part right there, um, that's a part where they, they have shoot down pretty short. And maybe if I get a little bit closer, um, we'll be able to see it. So you get these um, parts that look pretty long, and those are probably um, plants that the cows don't like to chew. But then there is these parts that are a little bit longer. So there's like long grass, short grass. So there's definitely some grass that they like to eat. It's more compatible to them and therefore they eat that first and then they leave whatever they don't like to eat at the end and so this is a big problem because over time um, the grass they will not give it enough time to grow again and as soon as it grows back a little bit more they get too excited and then they eat it again and what happens is the roots don't get to develop strong enough and then the good grass, the one they like to eat, like you can see it right there, it's like eating like a very short grass. It's probably like something out of all that she likes to eat. And therefore, with time, that grass is gonna die. It's not gonna generate long and strong roots. And so the bad stuff, the things that they don't like to eat, that's what's gonna be um, overpowering the field. So. The solution for that is to rotate, to be able to rotate them. And right now I don't have a infrastructure to say to rotate them. So they're just right now in an open field eating whatever they like to eat. But as you can see, as soon as the grass that they like to eat comes out, they're chewing it pretty hard down to the root and then that grass is probably going to die and it may not grow next year and that's a little bit of an issue I mean I'm planning to plant some grass next year but um, over time it's just a continuous issue so the answer to that problem is to rotate them around so you create little spaces where you keep them for uh, an amount of space of time and then you move them around so you give them enough space for the grass that they just ate to grow back again usually somewhere between 50 to 60 days and then you put them back again into that place again right now my main constraint to do that is one shade I need to have something to move around the shade just because it gets pretty hot and I'll feel pretty bad leaving them on the sun all day long because I know they like to stay in the shady areas and number two is the water so if you guys have any suggestions about how can I build a mobile shed with the water uh, that would be awesome if you can put it on the link before in the comments I would really appreciate it I have some ideas already um, tell me what has worked the main constraint here is the water hose the water hose only reaches to this point and I mean I, I cannot make it to go pretty far away so if I'm rotating there I'm probably gonna put it let's say on that far away square right there and the hose is not gonna reach up there so I have to have a system where I can refill the water somewhere in here take it all the way to that corner or somewhere away from from the water hose and then leave them there for a couple days so again if you have any suggestions Anything that you've seen on the internet, feel free to let me know.